Yo, what is good? What is a very faithful? What is good, yo? So, we have us an interesting episode of a line, and when I say interesting, I definitely mean I don't know what the heck is gonna happen with Enterprise and. Even now, we know there's more than one Siren, too. Um, people were telling me in the comments of the last video as well, the people that the Enterprise we saw on the other side, which people call Alter Prize, or I hear that she has a different name that just doesn't really, the fandom doesn't really care that they chose for her, which I like, I like Alter Alter Prize. That, that sounded so funny to read out, and... I was reading it in text and then I said it out loud. I was like, <laughs> okay, that's got to be the real name. Um, but then we see there's her and supposedly uh, with all these like wormholes or like these weird portal glass broken things uh, that we almost see someone fall into this week. It almost feels like if you fall into one of those, you might... Uh, you might meet yourself on the other side or something, right? Like, it, it seems like that's the place where Alter Prize resides from, from what I can tell. But I can't, I don't honestly know. I'm just guessing at this point. But it would just make sense that the one thing that was broken and open was thanks to Enterprise and her alternate self fusing together. So maybe it was breaking uh, the fabric of time and everything in this place because as we saw none of that stuff has ever like happened before including um including with the siren being the one that you know knew this whole time that enterprise was going to be the key and blah 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 um it, you can only imagine how much she expected from this and if she was expecting this to happen how much is going to change the overall uh, battlefield when it comes down to us having a enterprise who relatively looks like she's going to start doubting herself. It looks like everything she does in this week's episode and last week against uh, the flagship of the other team, it just feels almost as if she won't want to fight anymore because of what she's done, you know, so I thought that was a pretty smart way of just playing off of her character, making her character that much better, because we all know um, that she sees war is never ending, right? But if she sees that, why does she fight so hard? What's keeping her fighting? Um, and we kind of learn it's just, you know, her her pride, her overall drive to make sure things are right, and because of that, it keeps her in this war bound position where she's probably feels like she isn't doing much of anything unless she's fighting right um enterprise seems like that type of person the way she treats the ocean and the way she sees the ocean and whatnot like that but i'm really interested in seeing what you guys are saying about uh, all this because to be fair i feel like this show um definitely was ramping up for this uh, big reveal like there was a lot of different things just happening that didn't really make sense in the grand scheme of um, it happening and then not not much of anything drawing back to it and telling us why it's ha it happened but regardless um, I'm looking so forward to what they bring with this because Enterprise has done now, what, two things that she really didn't want to do. One of destroying the flagship of the other team, and then this week she accidentally, um, or she witnesses herself attack one of the smaller sh ships that aren't even as threatening as some of the bigger ones, some of the leaders and stuff like that, but she treated it as if, you know, she was one of those leaders, she was one of those big names and stuff like that so it kind of goes to show you how far enterprise has fallen um when it comes down to being taken over by her alter self and not having any type of control at all because if she did 
I don't think she would feel the way she does reaching out and stuff. I don't think she would have gone that far in general to be feeling bad, right? So that's kind of what we get with this is does Inter does Enterprise actually feel bad about all this? Or is it the fact that she wasn't in control and it happened regardless of her being in control? And maybe, maybe she was in control it wouldn't have been as bad or she could hold back a little bit, I don't know, I really don't know why she was so torn up about it, um, and whatnot, but regardless, I definitely like the change of her character, every time something kind of pops off, there's a chance for her to have some type of reaction that not all the girls I would expect to have, right, like, some of them don't really care, as we see with, um, the girl that our our ladies want to be friends with all of the girls that she hangs out with they don't they don't care about any of that so when they see her not fighting and staring and watching they go in and they're like well if you're just gonna stand there and watch we gotta we gotta protect you you know so they don't trust anyone on the other team which they shouldn't and then we don't trust anyone on their team besides one person that the girls trust and she has proven time and time again she's going to continue to do things that feel right to her so i don't know i'm looking forward to seeing what they do with those characters because <laughs> she finally got saved yet again or she got saved this time and not saving the unicorn you know so it goes to show you that they have been working this whole time pretty much to save her to get her on their team or at least um, spread the information that they don't want to fight, you know, so, it's getting interesting, um, like I said, the alternate version of Enterprise showing up and completely just stealing the show was pretty hype, so I'm excited to see what else kind of comes from all this, if there is anything else to come from all this, um, or if we're going to get into a new bunch of stuff, because, like I was saying, the Sirens, or the Sirens have multiple of them and not only do they have multiple of them, they have their own personalities it's not like they're just uh, a clone of the main one from what i can tell uh with them asking questions and not knowing exactly what the main one is thinking or if there is a main one then they're kind of all just the same level or something i'm not sure but regardless i hope you guys are having an awesome day night evening whatever the case may be I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will definitely try to get some more videos out to you before I leave to Thanksgiving, because if I go out there, I might eat so much food, I will just pass out. So I'll try to get it out as quickly as possible before I can, uh, before I get out of here. So have an awesome one, and happy Thanksgiving to the people celebrating, and to everybody else, take care, and I will talk to you in some more videos. Peace.